Welcome to today's video. I have a whole weekend of redecorating, a little bit of reorganizing, some rearranging, and just overall some home projects that I was getting done over this past weekend. I made a trip to Ikea with my sister-in-law and we got some really good stuff. So I'm going to show you guys all of that new stuff I got as well. And I don't have my husband here with me this weekend. He's actually on a hunting trip. So I'm doing all of this on my own and I do have a couple bloopers thrown in here for you guys to show you that you know it's not always easy to do things on your own but it can get done and that's exactly what I did I'm just the type of person that is impatient can't wait when I want something done I'm gonna go ahead and do it but I'm getting started here in my office because as you can see to the right of the room I do have this new piece of furniture and this is actually a sideboard that I got from Ikea I did spare you guys the assembly because as we all know no, Ikea furniture can be a task. It took me about three hours to do it my, on my own. And I'm just going to be moving it in here just for some added storage in my office. I just really was needing that. So I'm moving the bench that we previously had on this wall and vacuuming up the floor while it's empty. And I'm just going to move it over here. I do really love this piece and I thought it was really affordable. I think it was like $189. So it feels like really nice quality. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I'm going to organize everything in the drawers. No wizard of Oz can undo what I've done completely out of luck this time. I'm stuck in reverse. I gotta get away now, but I can't seem to take the lead. Oh baby, how could I know there was no second chance? So I'm going to be switching out the knobs on this piece of furniture. It came with like a gray knob that just looked kind of cheap in my opinion. So I picked these up from Hobby Lobby and I thought they looked really nice. And just switching out the hardware can really elevate a piece of furniture. The ones that are actually on here I already had from like many years ago. I just thought maybe they could work but they just weren't really the look I was going for so I'm gonna switch those out and I just really love how these make the piece look it makes it look so much more expensive than it actually was and they're just a really nice quality knob and I think I did get them on sale so they are about two dollars a piece so it was only sixteen dollars to just totally elevate this piece The 
the main thing I needed all of this organization or storage for was my Cricut and my printer. I just needed a dedicated space for all of these things and I am also going to put all of my like filming equipment in this top drawer here. I'm sorry it got really blurry here. I don't know what happened with my camera but I'm just adding in like my microphone for voiceovers, some extra batteries and SD cards and any really camera accessories so they can all just be in one place and I know where they are always at because I'm famous for losing anything that is like doesn't have a dedicated home so it definitely needed it. My next project is to hang up some curtains that I got from Ikea. I was really excited to go to Ikea because I had always heard that they have really great curtains for a really affordable price. And for this particular, it's not really a window, it's two doors. But in our apartment, they I just felt like the curtains had to be at the very top of this, like, I guess it's like molding or like built-ins around the doors because otherwise it just cuts it off in a weird place. So what I'm trying to say is I needed really long curtains that would have otherwise been really expensive. So I was able to get a pair from Ikea for just $40 and they're just like a white color so they feel really nice. But I also got my hardware and my rods from Ikea so it was just overall really affordable. And I was just so excited to finally have curtains in here. So I'm hanging these up and this process is definitely where most of the bloopers occurred because as you can imagine it's definitely a longer rod and with one person it proved to be a little bit difficult to um, you know hang it up just on my own so as you'll see here it was quite the adventure but I think the important thing is that we got it done I'm not quite sure why it didn't occur to me to just hang up this end of the rod and push the other end into the like rod holder, but for some reason it just made more sense to lean the rod on top of our blinds and just hope it stays up there to put on the other side. It, this could have been so much easier on myself, but I thought it was just hilarious to watch back and just a funny process, so I left the clips in here. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do watching it back. The 
curtains did end up being just a little bit too long so I did get an iron on him from Walmart that I'm gonna put on here I'm not doing it in the video it's definitely a project for another day I definitely wore myself out this weekend but just wanted to let you know I'm not gonna leave them as long as they are here and this is the next day where I'm kind of just picking up where I left off um, putting up the curtains now I am going to kind of rearrange our living room because I put the sideboard in the office I needed a new space for that bench that was previously there and I kind of was thinking in bed on Saturday night of the ideas like where I could put it and I thought about possibly using it as like a sofa table behind one of our sofas so I'm gonna try it out here and I kind of thought it was gonna be too short um, but you'll see here that I actually ended up liking it so I'm just moving the couches off of the rug because we are gonna have to pull it out a little bit and of course while we are moving furniture we have got to take advantage and vacuum <music> wanted to pull the sofa off of the wall here I think it just gives like a more intentional look when your furniture is not really leaned up against a wall but I didn't think I had much option when I you know first moved in here so adding the table back here I think is the perfect compromise it pulls the couch off of the wall but it's also not so much space where I feel like things are crammed because we don't have a very large living room to begin with so I think it turned out really well and I'm just putting everything else back where it belongs in the living room you start me up like no one has ever could you feel my fire to decorating our new like sofa table situation it was a little bit tricky because you can't really see the bottom portion of whatever decor I have so using these books to kind of elevate my decorations really helped and I did try several different things to kind of see what I was feeling because I've never decorated anything like this before so it definitely was a little bit of trial and error Someone save me for a pass out I'm too lonely to be done I'm a drink at this page These candlesticks were also another purchase from Ikea, which I love. They were so affordable, and I just love the simple black look. And I think they just really add that little bit of height behind the sofa without being like too much decorations and overwhelming. Um, ended up removing that little piece of art, and I think just keeping it simple was the best way to go here. If I had 
had an option to be someone else, I would. And like all of you. Now I'm going to work on a piece of canvas art that I used to have hanging on the wall above that sofa that we were just working on. I just was not loving how it was. I had recently painted it like this gray color and I just did not like it. I felt like we needed some more like warmth on the wall back there. So I got this color from Lowe's. It's called Rustic Oak and honestly... I thought I would really like it, but once I got it in our apartment, I think we just have a whole lot of gray in our apartment, um, just like with the like floor and the walls itself. So it just ended up being a little warmer than I liked, but I went ahead and painted it over anyway just to see if it would dry a little bit differently or if it would kind of grow on me. And I'm just not quite sure about it yet. I did end up like hanging it on the wall, but I very well could end up changing it maybe this week. I'm going for more of like a beige, I think, and it was just so hard to tell, you know, how it's going to look in your apartment. So it's just one of those things that, again, you just don't know until you actually do it. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. What I also want to do with this piece of art is add a wood frame around it, which I'll need my dad's help with because we don't have like a miter saw or anything here. So I also really need to nail down the color before I do that because once we add the wooden frame, it'll be a lot more difficult to kind of repaint it. So I think that that'll make the piece of art look a little bit better than just the canvas that was hanging on the wall too. So I wanted to add that that was also part of my plans for this piece of artwork. Now I'm back in my office after sitting with this like over the next day I just kind of felt like one side of the room had like all of the wood and then one side had no wood elements on it so I'm gonna flip flop the bench and the sideboard because I feel like it'll just kind of balance the room a little bit better and it definitely did I was just not really happy when I kept looking at this wall that the sideboard was on I was like it just looks so like it just lacks warmth it looks so cold so adding it with the wall art that's on the right side of the room really helps and it also pulls a lot of the colors that are in that artwork out so i am so much happier with the way that this turned out take my ring light out of here I had it out because I thought I would use it more and I just didn't so we're gonna remove that unnecessary clutter and I'm gonna add these baskets over here to keep my blanket in and also I just didn't really have anywhere else to put them so I thought they looked cute in there and now the last thing that I'm gonna work on is adding the curtains in our bedroom as well I got the exact same ones from Ikea for in here because again I just felt like this wall needed curtains and I didn't want to pay a whole lot of money for them so I'm using some a little bit of a different hardware I got this uh, like um, not the curtain rod but the brackets from Walmart but the curtain rod is from Ikea I just accidentally didn't get enough brackets but these worked just fine and I'm going to just hang this one right above the window because there wasn't like molding at the top of the wall here I felt like it just looked better to keep it right above the window in this particular room I 
let you down, break your heart and play around. But that's not me, no. I will love you, love you right back. And come and hold you whenever you're sad. Yeah. I know you don't wanna get hurt, but you'll have to take my word that I will love you, love you right back. Love you right back. artwork now that it has finally like fully dried and I have decided that it's just too warm it's not bad so I'm gonna leave it up here for the time being especially not for fall it's pretty good but I definitely want more of like a natural beige tone but I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you are not already and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video bye <laughs>